In this video, I'm going to be going ahead and building the ultimate shop inside of Roblox Islands to go ahead and make me billions of coins. So as you all know, I pretty much went ahead and built this shop in my actual first episode of building my brand new island, and I actually like it, but I'm not a huge fan of it, since it's not very appealing from this side, and it just doesn't look overall great, and I really just don't like it. So what I'm going to go ahead and actually start out by doing is destroying this shop. <laughs> Okay, and there we go, we've just gone ahead and destroyed that whole shop, I've got 294 vending machines in my inventory, and now we actually got to come up with a brand new design. But I think I want to go ahead and do something on the lines of this, I think something like this would look good, so we're going to come out by a couple blocks here, I think going out by 5 is enough. But yeah, let's just go ahead and match all these up by connecting them. There we go. Now we've got 20 blocks on each side. Now, I don't think I can actually go ahead and build it this close on this side since there is a problem with the obby being here. Except it'll make this one a lot easier. So I think I'm going to only have to be able to do it 10 and I'm just going to have to expand it. Since I don't want people going ahead and coming over here with a bunch of like speed multipliers and jumping over there since it is possible. Now, I think we're going to expand expand it to 11 on each side just to make it an uneven number since we kind of need that for this shop to go ahead and work. As you can see like this, I think I'm gonna actually in the shop, instead of it making it a one-way walkway, we're gonna make it more of it goes into a three-way. So then it's gonna be three and then it's gonna have the pass tower. And then now we got to try and find the middle, what is pretty much just here. Now, let me actually get a vending machine out and kind of test with this. So yeah, I think something along the lines of that, and then that goes all the way that way. This goes all the way that way. I think this goes ahead and works. So it's not too long as well. It looks pretty good, I think, if it was actually built. Also, we don't really have any limits on the end ones on how high it goes up, but I think this is going to work. Okay, now I just finished a little bit of the middle rows, and I think that looks really good. Yeah, I'm definitely going to stick to this design. I really like it. But yeah, now let me actually get to finishing building this. And there we go, we've actually gone ahead and built the full shop. Now I actually do really like this shop, I think it looks really good in my opinion, way better than the old one, but now we've actually got to go ahead and set all the prices and put all the items in. Now I'm probably going to have it laid out, so probably industrial is going to be in this section, then we're going to have like seeds over here or something like that, then we can have some weapons over here, stuff like that laid out, and I'm not going to do every single item, I'm going to do more of the main stuff, but let's just start out by having seeds over here so let me just go ahead and go over into my chest storage room and grab out all my seeds here we go seeds are here so now we actually gotta go ahead and put all these things in the actual vending machines so first let's just go ahead and start up by the seeds what most people will probably need pineapple seeds and we'll go to watermelon then red berries some pumpkin seeds maybe radish Starfruit, Void Seed, Candy Cane, Seaweed, Spirit Seeds, and then Blueberry, Blackberry, and then the three trees what we've got here. So Cherry, Palm Tree, and of course Spirit Trees. So this is perfect for this row. We've got every single tree, uh, and we got all of the seeds here. So that's actually really perfect. So for the next section, I'm going to go ahead and do Industrials. So let's go ahead and just grab out some things here. What we need to actually go ahead and put in those endings. Now, I'm not going to do every single Industrial thing since that's that's pretty much impossible and I'm mostly just gonna do more of the main things so I think industrial is gonna be this side so yeah let's just go ahead and get that started so firstly let's just start up with an industrial smelter and then industrial washing station just the normal and then let's just do like industrial lumber mill just all this industrial stuff industrial stone cutter industrial sawmill industrial polishing station industrial oven I'm actually gonna remove this and make it a food process 
processor, then we need like all, I think that's mostly all of the industrial kind of machinery stuff, except like the drills. So let's make a, a drill, a red bronze refinery, steel mill, steel press. I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is go ahead and just leave that for now. We've done most of the main stuff. If I find anything else, we go ahead and put it there, but we're going to put tier two vending machines here and some other more vendings. Um, and then we're gonna go down the end here and we can just put in the conveyors. So let's do the tier ones first because they're not as needed technically. We'll just do like this right next to each other. And then we need left, they are left, they are right, like so. And then that's all those conveyors done. And go ahead and add all the chests here. I think we can actually, yeah, what we can actually do, instead of adding the, uh, anything else here, we'll just add chests here, since we can just add the input-output chests like so. Industrial chest doesn't have that, so we can go ahead and just put the time chest there, and then we can have the just normal chest right here. So I think that works out. I think I've done that correctly. I could be completely wrong, but we can leave it like that for now. What else could actually work here? I think we can actually go ahead and make this more of the propellers and stuff, unless we, I think I'm gonna actually do that on this side, so like sticky gears, propellers, and cry iron and stuff like that. And on this side, we're gonna actually put on the chests. So if you know what I mean, like the diamond chests, every single chest really. Well, I don't really wanna sell, what, what? Let me actually get at the workbench, cause I'm very confused right now. I'm, I'm confusing myself a lot, but let's just search up chests. Uh, like so. What we can do is we can add just add these three chests right here. So add that one, this one, and that one there. And then we can have some randomizers here. We've got four more vendings. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Oh, we can actually go ahead and put workbenches here. Since a lot of people like to buy tier three workbench and the tier two workbench. Now, I think I might put them down in my little storage room down here. Now, did I or did I not? <laughs> now, they're probably in here somewhere. So, yeah, there we go. We've got tier three. There we go. We added the randomizer. Let's just add the filter conveyor. And I think that will fill up this whole area. So, that's pretty good. We've got most of the industrial things. But, yeah, if I don't have your item in my shop, just go ahead and ask me if I'm active. I'll answer you. If I'm not, I'm probably AFK. But, yeah, if I'm missing out on anything, just go ahead and ask me and I should be able to sell that to you if I know the price or not. But yeah, now we've actually got all of the seeds. We've got all of the industrial. Now, I'm actually going to go ahead and actually make it so the weapons are here and then tools and stuff are here. Unless weapons and tools fit along here, but I doubt it since there's a lot of weapons. Then over here, we're going to add sticky gears and probably like cry iron and stuff. And But yeah, we pretty much filled, I, I think it's every single vending machine in my whole shop up now. So that, that's really good. Apparently, this boat right here is worth 50 billion coins plus. Why is it worth so much? What happened to this game? And then the Divine Dow apparently is 40 billion? How did these become so expensive? Okay, so I've just gone and joined Taka's shop right here, and I've asked her if I could actually go ahead and copy her prices, and she's actually gone ahead and let me to go ahead and do that. So I'm actually just gonna copy her prices and just steal them completely because they, they she said they work really well, and I just, just, yeah, I just need prices. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm actually gonna go boot up Roblox on the Microsoft version, join this shop, and then actually go on my main and just copy them because I have two screens and this will go ahead and be really easy. Okay, so my alt is joining on my other screen right now. As you can see, the indication of my alt has just joined on islands. Now we're gonna actually go ahead and start by copying her prices. Okay, so I've finally gone ahead and set every single price in my whole shop. So every single vending machine has a price, except these, since they weren't actually selling these, since I don't think they're actually worth it. There's a bunch of industrial, like, sawmill stuff in there. 
but I just removed it. But yeah, I did some changes, I removed some things around, but it was actually a lot more weapons what were over the price of 1 billion coins. So these are all the weapons what are under 1 billion. What is actually really surprising, it's around only 11 weapons, maybe a couple more, but maybe I'd say around 15 weapons in the whole game of islands would it sell underneath 1 billion coins. All the other ones go over 1 billion, what I think really needs to be changed. Like, But anyway, what we're going to go ahead and do is since I've actually just completed my whole shop, we are going to go ahead and actually publish. And there we go, we've just gone ahead and published the name. Now I'm going to go post it in my Discord server. Okay, I just went ahead and posted in my Discord server a uh, purple Mega Mall published at the moment and recording a video. Code is 9N66U. Oh my goodness, people are joining. I think so people don't fall through here. I'm going to actually add glass. Pink would look good, but like I don't have pink. I need pink glass. People are joining though. This is very good. Let me actually like, oh my goodness. Who's bought out this? Who bought out my shop? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> but there's no money in here. So no one bought anything here. I'm just going crazy. <laughs> Why is that? That? No, this needs to be that. <laughs> oh, you can tell I, I, I run a shop. Mm -hmm. You can totally tell. I've got three starfruit seeds. Oh my goodness. Oh, someone saw me smelter. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but yeah, pretty much my shop is working. Oh, I don't want to put all 800 in there. No, no, no. Oh my goodness. No, stop. Uh, 1 billion. Let's see how many they sell. Oh my goodness. 26. I am rich. <laughs> me is rich. Oh my god. So many people. <laughs> so many people. Hmm, I'm weird. Okay, yeah, this this is what I do when I publish though. But yeah, it seems to be that my shop is working. I'm getting a bunch of people in. If you see my shop published, don't don't be scared to join. I'm not gonna bite. But yeah, that's pretty much this video. Click on this video right up here if you want to see me actually spend a hundred billion coins on building that storage room down there.